Good to be here at Stamford Bridge. Your tour around the stadium of uh, 2017 Premier League champions. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, obviously when we moved over from Zimbabwe uh, four, four or five years ago, yes. uh, obviously football not being as big in in the Southern Hemisphere, we always followed it, but um, there's a couple of pictures of of us in mixed shirts as kids, but coming <laughs> to my first Premier League game four years ago at Stamford Bridge, I thought, nah, now nah, this is... This is home. This is home, and yeah, been following, been following. Got really into it ever since. So yeah. um, happy to have come to a few a few games this year. And um, me personally, I didn't really watch football when I was in living in Zimbabwe. But as soon as I came over at the school I went to, Wellington, I had a lot of schoolmates who were Chelsea fans. So I was lucky enough to come. To their dads had season tickets, so I just tagged along with them, and then slowly became a fan. Was it a location thing that led you into Chelsea more than anything else? Did, was it the fact that you, you play for Surrey and I presume that you're based sort of in and around London? Yeah, or well, being being so close that's obviously a contributing factor and allowing us to come to as many games as we do. Um, yeah, and I think when when we signed with Alex Stewart being a, being a die-hard Chelsea fan, I think it was written in the contract. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but yeah, probably a location thing you could say is an influence. And was there any element of a brother, an older brother, leading the younger brother into it, as some, can sometimes be the case? No, I was a Chelsea fan before Tom. Oh, that's true. Yeah, no Chelsea chance. Fan. Okay, excellent. So, can you remember? Can you pinpoint the first game that you ever came to? I came with a mate. I think it was Newcastle. Has odd but hat trick actually. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that was pretty decent. That leads us perfectly onto favourite players, and yours is Eddie. <laughs> yeah, it Eddie gets from the moment you saw that hat trick. Yeah, as soon as I saw it, I said, "He's my man." Yeah, I love, I love Diego at Chelsea. Is there any element of your own sort of sporting personality that is echoed by? I mean, Diego is a bit of a warrior, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe a bit. I don't know, Sam. You can. Are you, you, you want about for... flair like Eddie? Yeah, I'm just, I love flair. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, he is. I think just. I love being in the action, so he's kind of always in the action, scoring goals, making good passes and stuff. So I think I just saw him, yeah. And he's, the thing that attracted me in my first game was obviously the guy who scores goals, and he was the one. And ever since then, yeah. You might not have the sort of ingrained dislike of opposition teams that perhaps Chelsea fans of a long time have, but Spurs are big yeah. rivals of Chelsea. Yeah, Spurs. You know? I hate Spurs because I've got a couple <laughs> of actually really good mates that support Spurs. So um, whenever we watch Chelsea, whenever Chelsea Spurs are playing, we always watch together. And, uh, so few, last last season, when Hazard scored to stop Spurs against um, Leicester, yeah, 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 that yeah, was, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. Like, I was going to say that was actually one when he uh, bent it around, got it bent it top right. That was <laughs> worldy. I remember that because that was when uh, Leicester then that secured them to win the league. Exactly. Yeah. Stop. Stop um, Tottenham winning it and secured yeah. it for Leicester. And what about playing the game yourself? Did you ever? I guess you played it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really well, good. we play every morning for warm-ups. We get very competitive. Um, we play Oldens versus Youngins, and. Um, does Alec get involved in that? The youngins versus the older? He's the main man, isn't he? He's the director, uh, he's is he? He's the manager of both teams, I think. He stays, he stays away. away. Um, I think Alex Stewart might, <laughs> might like to think of himself as a bit of a Conte type figure. Um, let's talk about Alec a little bit. You mentioned him earlier that he wasn't particularly on the corner. He's a huge Chelsea fan. Do you, do you talk to him a lot about the, the club when, when you started supporting them? Was he having a say in that? Yeah, always. I mean, yeah, we used to joke about it at first. And then, um, yeah, he's obviously, he comes off and we saw him here on Saturday and uh, he was excited for us coming to be here today. Um, so you could say, yeah, he has a bit of an influence, but it's always good to have, have the gap on our side when we're having arguments with the boys in the change room. Your all-time Chelsea father-side team. Ooh. It's tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tricky because, I mean... I'm it, just going to do the modern. Yeah, modern it, it was going to be predominantly modern anyway, but... If... I'd go Drogba. Oh, yeah, got to get Drogba in. Yeah. Right, so let's start at the back. JT. Okay, yeah, so we've got Courtois in goal. Thoughts on Courtois as a goalkeeper? Do you, I mean, yeah, class. One of the best in the world, isn't he? Yeah. Well, yeah, even in our bad season, you know, he was, you could say, keeping us half alive. <laughs> yeah, just about. So our five side team is Courtois, JT. Up top, we've got Drogba, definitely. Yeah. Two more spots up for grabs. Mm. You want Jimmy Floyd? I'm well, picking Hazard. Hazard's got, Hazard's got yeah. to be in there, surely. And Lampard. Lampard's got to be in there. Lampard. Yeah. 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 
got a nice bit of balance to it. Yeah, it's a good side. <laughs> As sporting brothers and successful ones and community all your life have been quite devoted to sport. How much does sibling rivalry sort of spur you two on and kind of help you progress? Yeah, well it's you know it's massive. Obviously playing from from the beginning, from the backyard cricket days, I think, you know, the competitive nature and you know, wanting to win and getting one above each other is just in us. So that started obviously in the back roots from playing garden cricket. Now being teammates, you know, it's I wouldn't say as evident, but secretly, obviously, we both want to be doing doing better than each other, which I think is only a good thing for a the teams we're playing for and b the, our progression as players. That's very on. And from your point of view, would you echo that or anything you'd say? Yeah, about? No, I think it's definitely true. I think my dad played cricket, so we always, since we were about three, four, always holding cricket bats, chucking balls, that kind of thing. I think being the youngest, I've always wanted to try to be better. I've got, we've got a middle brother, Ben, as well, who's also plays cricket as well. So we all try to be as competitive as, as everyone. So, and yeah, it's just we've always been so competitive. And me being the youngest, I've always tried to be better than everyone else. But now it's been all good fun since growing up here. Yeah.